Grand National Ride. Swapping a joke there with uh, Joy Carrier, who's very relaxed, this uh, American girl who rides King Spruce. Here is to us, number seven. The Vintner to the right. <laughs> and these stands really are jam-packed now. The starter has just asked them to prepare to form a line. Of course, no draw. There will be several of them opting for the inner and others for a quiet hack on the outside in the early stages. Britar, the six to one favorite. Bona Merman comes in a point eight to one from nine to one. Spartan Missile, 10 to one. Corbia 12 to 1 and 14 to 1 bar those four. And when they jump off, I'll be seeing them across the Melling Road towards the first, where John Hannon will be picking them up and taking them down to the sector towards Beaches, where Julian Wilson uh, takes them over, sees them over Beaches, the Canal and Valentines. Then John picks them up at uh, fences number 11 and 12, and between 10 and 11 is the softest uh, part of the course. And then he, I take them over as they cross the Melling Road, come back onto the race course for thir fences 13, 14, and 15, which is the chair, 16, which is the water, then they're out in the country on their final run. Gritar, they're Frank Gilman's fine ex-hunter chaser, the subject of some extravagant offers in the past to which <coughs> farmer Frank would pay no heed whatever. An attitude that reflects the Corinthian spirit associated with the national hunt game. And let's hope that as we see the field preparing to come under orders for the 138th Grand National, that you and I and all of us can preserve it for posterity. <laughs> Gritta, 13 to 2 now from 6 to 1. Bonham in 8 to 1. Spartan Missile, 9 from 10 to 1. Corbia 12 to 1, PT Sandy now 12 to 1, and 14 to 1, bar the 5. And the crowd's looking across now towards the start, uh, waiting for them to be called in, and a line being formed now. This is PT Sandy, the hope of Scotland, right on the inside uh, Corbia with Keen Gaddy and the Vintner and the starter asking him to come in. Monty Python's right over on the far side with pilot officer and Don Cregan and uh, the starter mounts his rostrum and they're under orders and will shortly be running in the 1983 Grand National. Formed a very fair line, and they're away. They're away to a roar from the crowd and running down towards the Melling Road. Delmos and Corbier are the first two to make it from the Vintner with Caraboy on the outside. Very close up behind him is Grittar. Towards the far side is King Spruce also, but it's Delmos and Bill Smith from Corbier. Then Caro Boy and then King Spruce and Grittar just in behind him with the Vintner close also. Don Cregan not far behind him, but Delmos making it as they come to the first and we join John Hanmer. And Delmos will be the leader at the first of the third defences. Jumps it safely, Caro Boy over second, the Vintner over third. Corbier is over all right. Tower Moss has fallen. Midday Gun has fallen. Midday welcome a faller, Geraldine Reese, all three jockeys are up, 
I don't see a four at the second, but as they come to the third, the big ditch, it's Delmos in the lead from Corbier, then King Spruce right up with the lead, and so is Williamson, so is Caro Boy. And the faller towards the outside is That's It. That's It, I think the only faller as they go to the fourth, and Delmos from Corbier, Williamson, Royal Mail, King Spruce, and over to Julian Wilson. Delmos, Corbier right on the stand side, Williamson's there in the centre, towards the far side is Colonel Christie, right on the outside is Royal Mail, just behind him is John Joe O'Neill on beacon time as they jump the fifth. Delmos over it clear from Williamson, Corbier, Harrow Boy towards the inside, towards the outside is Colonel Christie with Royal Mail and beacon time, and Joy Carrier right there on King Spruce as they come down to Beaches Brook. And it's Bill Smith blazing a trail on this side on Delmos with Romel on the outside. Delmos over. And Williamson is down at Beaches. And Joy Carrier has King Spruce is down. Royal Mail is down. So Joy Carrier is out of the national as they stream towards the next. It was Keen Gaddy who jumped in front from Delmos and Corbier. Colonel Christie towards the outside, then comes Gritter, then Caro Boy and Beacon Time and Williamson and Grease Paint. A brilliant recovery by Williamson's rider at the canal turn. Three to one was a baller at Beaches as well. And at the canal turn, it's Delmos who's back in the lead from Corbier and Caro Boy. On the outside of that is Gritter in fourth, then Colonel Christie. Kill Craigan was a faller at the canal turn as they jump Valentine's. Delmos over from Corbier, Gritter, Colonel Christie, Caro Boy, Grease Paint and Beacon Time. Behind that is your man, then Williamson. Behind Williamson is the Vintner, then Fortinas Express as we rejoin John Hanmer. And Delmos led over the tenth from Corbier in second place. In third place towards the outside is Colonel Christie, then Beacon Time and Gritter, then Caro Boy and Grease Paint as they go to the next. It's Delmas from Corbier, Colonel Christie, Beacon Time, Gritar, then towards the outside, Hello Dandy, then Caro Boy, Grease Paint, then Fortinus Express, and as they go, Keen Gaddy, a faller, and as they go to the next, it's Delmas over first from Corbier, Colonel Christie, Beacon Time, then Hello Dandy, Gritar, Grease Paint, Caro Boy, Fortinus Express, Williamson, your man. Behind your man is Never Tampa. They're all over that one safely, and as they go across the Melling Road, it's Delmas, the leader, from Corbier, Colonel Christie and Gritar, and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, still 13-year-old Delmas taking him along, and Bill Smith from Corbier. Just in behind them come the ladies' master and Colonel Christie, and just in behind them comes Gritar, behind uh, Gritar. Towards the outside is Pilot Officer, then comes Grease Paint, behind Grease Paint Beacon Time, then Fortinas Express. Behind Fortinas Express is Dun Craigan as they come down towards the next. Delmos still taking him along from Corbier. Then the ladies' master, Williamson on the outside. Pilot officer is next. Coming down towards the one before the chair now, the fence that will be the last on the next circuit, and still Delmos and Bill Smith from Corbier. The ladies' master, pilot officer. Just in behind them come your man, and then Gritar behind Gritar is Beacon Time, and then on the inside and going well is um, Oliver Sherwood on Venture to Cognac. Just in behind them, uh, going well is Caro Boy, and then comes That's It, and they're coming towards the chair now. And over that one, it was still Delmos. Delmos in the lead and a fall of their pilot officer. Williamson has gone too at the chair. And it's Delmos leading Corbier now as they come to the water. Hello Dandy is in third on the near side. Colonel Christie's next. Then comes uh, Frank Gilman's Gritar. Then Grease Paint. Then Fortinus Express. Then comes Beacon Time. Behind Beacon Time is Venture to Cognac. Then your man. Then comes Artistic Prince. Behind Artistic Prince is Political Pop. Behind him comes uh, uh, John Williams on Never Tampa, just uh, behind Never Tampa now is Bonamoma in making ground, Spartan Missile is next, then Petey Sandy on the outside with Hot Tomato also in pursuit and Caro Boy and as they run down to the next fence it's still Delmos from Corbier, Gritar is improving, Colonel Christ is still there and on the outside Hello Dandy with Grease Paint and over to John Hanmer. And at the 17th Delmos landed in front of Hello Dandy towards the outside, Corbier Gritar, Colonel Christie, Fortinus Express and Grease Paint, all close up, Social Man and Political Pop and Venture to Cognac and Beacon Time as they take the 18th. Hello Dandy in the centre.
from Corbier, Delmas, Colonel Christie, Fortinus Express, Gritar, Grease Paint, then Venture to Cognac, your man, and Political Pop as they come to the big ditch. And Hello Dandy out in the centre of the course, Corbier on the near side, Delmas a mistake, Gritar going well on the inner, then Colonel Christie, Fortinus Express, Grease Paint, Venture to Cognac, and a long way back, Attack Cry, and one refusing towards the back of the field is the Ventnor, and the ladies' mast has almost come to a complete standstill, and another faller there was Manfred as we join. Julian Wilson as Bone Moment refuses. And Beacon Time is also a faller as they come to the one before Beaches with Hello Dandy on the outside, Corbier on the stand side. Gritar made a mistake there but got away with it. In third place is Colonel Christie. Gritar's in fourth. Fourteen is expressed towards the outside. Grease paint going terrifically well as they come down to Beaches for the second time. And it's Hello Dandy who's in front from Colonel Christie and Corbier right on the inside and they jump Beaches. Hello Dandy, Corbier, Colonel Christie. Grease paint a side mistake. Gritar's over. In fifth place. Behind those is Fortinus Express and Delmos who's tired, your man, then Venture to Cognac and uh, uh, Spartan Essars unseated his rider at Beaches as over the 23rd it's Corbier who now leads. Corbier from Hello Dandy, Colonel Christie, Grease paints in fourth, Gritar's fifth, then a gap back to your man. Behind those is Political Pop and Venture to Cognac and Delmos and Fortinus Express and then making ground is Petey Sandy as they jump the canal turn. Corbier over from Grease Paint and Hello Dandy. In fourth place is Colonel Christie, then Gritter, and then your man, then Political Pop as they come to Valentine's Grove. Corbier, Hello Dandy, Grease Paint, Gritter, Colonel Christie, your man. Tackroy's pulled up at the back. Political Pop behind that and then Venture to Cognac and Delmos and Petey Sandy as we rejoin John Hanmar. And they've got five to jump and it's Corbier and Hello Dandy from Grease Paint and Gritter. Then your man. Then comes Colonel Christie, Political Pop, Venture to Cognac. Then Delmos and Petey Sandy. And they've coming to the last ditch now. Four from home and it's Hello Dandy in the lead from Corbier. Then in third place is Grease Paint. Fortinus Express has pulled up. Gritar's improving to dispute third place with your man. And Grease Paint a gap after that to Colonel Christie. This is the third from home. Hello Dandy and Corbier from your man. Then in fourth place, Grease Paint. Five is Gritar. Then Colonel Christie and Political Pop. And Venture to Cognac and Petey Sandy and Del Moss. And going across the Melling Road with two to jump, it's Corbier. Hello Dandy. Then Grease Paint, your man and Gritar. And Political Pop. And Never Tampers refused. And over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's Corbier on the inside of Hello Dandy, then comes Grease Paint, very close with him, and your man also very close, then in fifth place is Gritar, and under pressure Gritar, behind him comes Political Pop, and then Colonel Christie, and then Petey Sandy and Venture to Cognac, as they race towards the second last in the 1983 National, and it's Corbier, trained by Jenny Pittman, in the lead, from your man, Hello Dandy, and Grease Paint. Corbier coming to the second last fence with his white face showing in the lead. Corbier lands in the lead. Your man lands second. Third is Grease Paint. Four, hello Dandy. And five is Gritar. Six, Political Pop. Seven, Colonel Christie. And eight, Petey Sandy coming to the final fence now. Corbier in the lead from Grease Paint. Your man. And hello Dandy. Corbier by three lengths from Grease Paint. Then comes your man. Then hello Dandy. They're racing towards the elbow in the national. And it's Corbier written by... 23-year-old Ben Dehan, who's clear at the moment of Grease Paint in second, your man third, fourth is Hello Dandy, and it's Corbier with a furlong to run in the national, being pressed by Grease Paint. Corbier from Grease Paint, Grease Paint putting in a tremendous run for Ireland, written by Mr. Colin Magna. It's Grease Paint on the near side, beginning to get up as they race towards the line. It's Corbier from Grease Paint, and Corbier's won it. Corbier's the winner from Grease Paint. And a great salute from Ben Dehan. Third was your man, and four was Hello Dandy. Five was Gritar. Running on strongly is Political Pop, but just beaten for sixth place by P.T. Sandy, who's sixth. Seventh, Political Pop. Eighth is Venture to Cognac. Ninth is Colonel Christie. Tenth is the long-time leader, Del Moss. And those look like the only ten to finish, as we see Ben Dehan here. 23-year-old Ben on his third Grand National ride and Corbier makes uh, Jenny Pittman the first lady to train a Grand National winner. One of the youngest owners in the race represented here by this 8-year-old, 22-year-old Brown Burra from uh, Henley-on-Thames, his father a great sportsman himself and uh, a rowing blue 
And here the blue colours of his son, triumphant on this eight-year-old, always been in the van in this unique race, who battled on marvellously to hold the courageous challenge of Grease Paint, to whom he was conceding almost a stone in the closing stages. So Corbier returns traditionally between two mounted policemen to that hallowed arena where the Grand National winner is heralded and unsettled. A previous winner of the Welsh National at Chepstow and marvellously prepared for this great test by Jenny Pittman. What a marvellous result for her with three runners in the race and this the most fancied of the two, Corbier by Harwell out of Valley Cashin, who was by that great progenitor of jumpers, Vulgar. Versatile horse who seems indifferent to the state of the ground. Goes on the firm surface and the soft. Runner up on his previous run to Scott Lane in the Ritz Club National Hunt Handicap at Cheltenham. And here returning the winner of the Grand National. I made it 10 finishers. I just see 14 as express uh, being hacked back, but he hasn't completed the course. And I also see new tamper coming in. He hasn't completed. Never tamper, I should say. And Corbier looking beautifully fresh. And the official distance is three quarters of a length and 20 lengths.